Well, it sounds like my kidney pie is nearly done boiling. You know, this week I am testing a very English vehicle and I'm trying to better understand their culture from the Queen to Big Ben, so I decided to try to do that through modern media. Anyway, now that you're here, let me throw on some tweed and I'll tell you all about what I've been driving this week. Come on. Tone-deaf stereotypes aside, the Range Rover Sport is about as British as it gets, short of being carted around London in a black cab during a rainstorm whilst listening to Penny Lane. This ready-for-anything luxury SUV is designed to tackle the toughest of terrain, yet still look good valeted in front of the Opera House or cruising down Rodeo Drive. It promises a blend of luxury and capability that other vehicles cannot match while still being incredibly economical. Wait, what? How is that possible? It weighs more than 4,700 pounds. Well, it's magic. You see, through the sorcery of compression ignition, this HSE TD6 model is upwards of 30% more efficient than other versions of the Sport. This 3-liter diesel V6 is good for 254 horsepower, which is pretty middling, but it also puts out 443 pound-feet of torque. An 8-speed automatic transmission routes that twisty goodness to the pavement through a full-time four-wheel drive system. This tall-riding yet ritzy-looking rig is almost unbelievably economical. According to the window sticker, it should return 22 miles per gallon in city driving and 29 on the highway. 29! Its combined figure is wow-worthy as well at 25 mpg. Let's assume those aren't imperial gallons. So welcome aboard. It's a bit of work getting up into the HMS Range Rover Sport, but once you are seated here, it is well worth the effort. I love the soft leather that's used throughout this cabin, along with the dashboard's clean, timeless styling. The Zebrano wood trim in this example is also beautiful, but there are a few things you should be made aware of because looks can sometimes be deceiving. You see, there are far too many arthritic trim pieces in here. Poke at some of the commonly used touch points and you'll be treated to a chorus of noise. This interior is creakier than a Royal Navy man of war caught in a squall, and that is no exaggeration. Also, I dislike the electronic shifter, which is too often recalcitrant. Then there's the infotainment system, which looks and responds like it's about 10 years out of date. There are plenty of confusing menus and lots of delays. Where's the company's in-control touch pro system? Get it in here now. The Range Rover Sport is comfortable and spacious. Its front buckets are plush yet supportive, and the back accommodations are roomy as well. Plus, it's got plenty of cargo capacity. See, look at all that. And you didn't believe me. That's typical. You probably also made an incredulous face when I told you about those efficiency figures, but once you're underway, this diesel really is an incredible piece of work. It pulls like a freight train. The torque it produces is absolutely incredible, and it comes on strongest right in the mid-range, which is where you use it every day. From a standstill, mat the accelerator, and there's about a two second pause as it inhales deeply, but then by 2000 RPM, it is shoving you back into the seat and hard. The TD6's 7.1 second zero to 60 time is not far off the 380 horsepower gasoline powered model score of 6.8. The diesel is also unexpectedly refined, quiet, and largely vibration-free, and even the fuel-saving stop-start system is smooth, though on some occasions it does shake the vehicle a little bit more than others, which is kind of weird. Icing on this powertrain cake, the ZF 8-speed automatic transmission shift performance is just about perfect. It is 
really well sorted. Now, the Range Rover Sport steering is sharper than I would have expected, and it is nicely weighted, but there's no disguising its mass. This is obviously a large, heavy vehicle, and it does not like to be rushed through corners. You gotta take it easy. Despite this heft, the ride quality is rather harsh, with plenty of body movement, even over minor road blemishes. And in all likelihood, this is because of the hardcore four-wheel drive system. Without going into too much detail, it can take you just about anywhere. Its signature terrain response system allows you to tailor the vehicle's off-road behavior to specific conditions, be it mud and ruts, sand, rock crawling, or just about anything in between. The Range Rover Sport offers a ton of capability and prestige. Unfortunately, though, it is priced accordingly. This example drove off the lot with a sticker of $84,260, which includes about twelve grand in options. You know, it is far from cheap, even though it is a little bit low rent in some areas. So, what would I keep and what would get kicked to the curb? Well, I think you have a pretty good idea. I love this vehicle's classy exterior styling, mostly upscale cabin and kick-ass diesel drivetrain, but I am not as smitten with the creaky trim bits, rough ride, or outdated tech. Really, the 2016 Range Rover Sport is more of a vanity purchase for folks that want to look like a Kardashian or someone else famous. You know, like that hyacinth bucket woman from the TV. My name is Bouquet. B-U-C-K-E-T. <laughs> no, it's not bucket, it's Bouquet. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You just watched this video. It was great. It was a new curb. Come on. So why don't you do us all a favor and subscribe? That way you never miss any of them. Just hit the button. Could be easier. You've all done very well. Thank you, Mr. Ben. That's actually Welsh. I mean, yeah.